It's time to start. It's time now for Stanley Stinkers, the only show that uses reverse prognostication to predict the losers in college football's biggest games. With this week's losers, here he is, Stanley Reese. Hello again and thanks for joining us. The 2013 college football season is heading toward its dramatic end with four teams still undefeated. That leaves room for upsets. Stanley Stinkers was 16-4 and four last week and our overall success rate remains at 78%. But that's not really bad considering the fact that we never back down from the tough contest. We use reverse prognostication to predict the losers in college football's biggest games. Here are the teams we're watching this week. The Indiana Hoosiers at the Ohio State Buckeyes. Despite some really nifty uniforms and a quick start, the Hoosiers have slipped below 500 with little chance of receiving an invitation to a postseason bowl. Meanwhile, the Columbus Express continues its roll toward what they hope will be a chance at the BCS title. But to get that chance, they'll need style points in this game, plus a falter from one of the other three unbeaten teams. These style points will not be pretty. Stanley Stinker in a blowout, Indiana. The Wisconsin Badgers at the Minnesota Golden Gophers. This is the annual battle for the Paul Bunyan's Axe, and as of late, the Gophers haven't laid a hand on the mythical hatchet. Minnesota has come away from the, with the trophy just twice in 18 years, and Wisconsin has a streak of nine straight headed into this annual challenge. The home team might have a lot of drive in it, but it will be hard to stop the Big Ten's best rushing defense. This one should be a classic Stanley Stinker, Minnesota. The Michigan State Spartans at the Northwestern Wildcats. Earlier this year, the Wildcats were prowling the top 25 for a chance to prove their national ranking. But in the midst of a six-game losing streak now, the Cats can do little more than hiss at their latest opponent. The Spartans come into the game with just one loss to Notre Dame. Since then, the Michigan State defense has steadily improved ahead of December's date with destiny in the conference championship game. That is, if they get past the last two opponents. Stanley Stinker and a squeaker, Northwestern. Stay with us, we've got more coming up, including an upset in the desert, dadgum vandalism in Tallahassee, and the Cowboys versus the Cow Bears. How to be a great dad in 15 seconds. Bike ride, go fish, walk in the park, phone call, milkshake, play catch, picnic, fly a kite, tell jokes, laugh, talk, read a story, tell a story, bumper car, swing set, bowling, pillow fight, cut loose, stay tight. Whew. Because the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. I'd like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. The Oregon Ducks at the Arizona Wildcats. The Quackers are still hoping for a remote shot at the BCS title game, but first they'll need to get past one of the top running backs in the country during a trip to Tucson. Kadeem Carey has accounted for almost 1,400 yards on the ground, plus another 200 in receiving. That might be a problem for Oregon's defense, which was exploited by Stanford's runners in their only loss two weeks ago. This one might be close enough to call for the upset. In the desert, Stanley Stinker. Oregon. The Cal Golden Bears at the Stanford Cardinal. Despite two losses, Stanford is one of the best football teams in the country based on offense and defense. If there is a weak point, it would be the passing game. But even that should gain respect against the California passing defense that ranks almost last in the nation. For all intents and purposes, this game could be played by the marching bands. Hey, then the football teams can storm onto the field during the last play, a la 1982. That might be interesting. Stanley Stinker with the football teams, California. The Idaho Vandals at the Florida State Seminoles. The Vandals drive down from Idaho this weekend to try and keep the River Chiefs entertained for a few hours. It was noted last week during another lopsided win that the FSU players were competing in a game called Hangman on the sidelines. This is the type of game in which Jimbo's tribe could lose focus, but it shouldn't make much of a difference against the Vandals, who have just one victory this year and rank near the bottom of almost every statistical category. Bring out the board games and the dominoes. Stanley Stinker, Idaho. 
The Missouri Tigers are the Ole Miss Rebels. Truman the Tiger is just about ready to book a vacation to Atlanta to prance around the Georgia Dome in the annual SEC title game. But his Missouri team needs to get past two pretty tough opponents. First, the Tigers cannot afford to overlook the 7-3 and three insurgents this week, even though they have Texas A&M waiting in the final game. All three of Ole Miss losses have come at the hands of the top teams in the Western Conference, so the Rebels have been battle-tested. The question now is if the fans in the Grove will be ready to tame the Tiger, or will they leave that task for Johnny Football? Hotty Toddy or Hello Kitty, Stanley Stinker, Ole Miss. Well, it's time for one more break, but on the other side, we have the Miles Jack Show, Johnny Football in the Bayou, and we'll do the Chattanooga Choo Choo. That and more coming up. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your basement. There's a pair of overalls that overall you're not so into anymore. A perfectly good laptop that hasn't seen your lap in months. And even more stuff, but still no jobs? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? That can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Even inside that winter coat that moved with you to Phoenix. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover guitar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff. Create jobs. Find your nearest donation center at Goodwill.org. A message from Goodwill and the Ad Council. The Arizona State Sun Devils at the UCLA Bruins. Miles Jack of UCLA has become one of the most talked about players in college football over the last several weeks. The freshman linebacker has seen action as running back and in the dual role he's averaging almost 10 yards per carry and he's second only to quarterback Brett Hundley in rushing touchdowns. But his talents may be needed more on defense this week against the devil of an offense averaging more than 42 points per game. This one's for the lead in the Pac-12 South, and it could be another chance to see the Miles Jack of All Trades show. Stanley Stinker, Arizona State. The Texas A&M Aggies at the LSU Tigers. This game has the potential to reach triple digits by halftime. The Aggies offense and their flamboyant quarterback have been able to put points on every scoreboard they've seen this year, but their defense, well, their defense has let most opponents do exactly the same. LSU could take advantage of that in a big way with future pro quarterback Zach Mettenberger and his two highly touted wide receivers. The Bayou Bengals do have a better defense, and if they're able to contain Johnny Football, it could be a long night in Death Valley for the Aggies. Stanley Stinker, Texas A&M. The Baylor Bears at the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Coach Art Bryles has what might be the ultimate team in Waco this year. His Golden Boys have an offense that leads the nation in passing and scoring with 61 points per game. Even their defense and special teams rank high on the national charts. But the old saying is, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's exactly what OK State will try to accomplish. In the past, they have been on the receiving end of that fall, so they know how it works. If the Cowpokes can shore up their defense on the pass and stop the run, and give the Bears bad directions to the stadium, well, they might have a chance. If not, Stanley Stinker, Oklahoma State. While we're at it, here are a few more games we'll be watching. Chattanooga will get chewed by Alabama. Kansas State will lose to Oklahoma. Wake Forest will be exercised by Duke. Coastal Carolina will be pecked by South Carolina. The Citadel will be scratched by Clemson. Iowa will be shot down by Michigan. Memphis will fall to Louisville. New Mexico will be bitten by Fresno State, BYU will lose to Notre Dame, and in Knoxville, the Vanderbilt Commodores will be sunk by Tennessee. Stanley Stinkers is intended for entertainment only. It's a production of GMD Sports. Any rebroadcast or other use of Stanley Stinkers without the expressed written permission of me, Stanley Reese, why it's appreciated. Join us again next week. We are America's most entertaining college football show. We're Stanley Stinkers, and we use reverse prognostication to predict the losers in college football's biggest games.